I'm David Hansen of Hansen Robotics, and uh, I view uh, robotics as uh, the next great animation medium. And uh, I embody the uh, concept in the term conversational character robots, as you can see on the screen. The time is right for this form of intelligent character animation to come into existence with smart technologies coming into existence, uh, robotic uh, physical forms becoming more capable of interacting with the world, and uh, trends in the marketplace and uh, manufacturing technologies making the uh, robots ever more popular, affordable, and uh, capable in uh, more affordable forms. It requires fusions of technologies, um, physical body technologies, expressive faces, conversational intelligence, and it breaks down into uh, multiple uh, fields and disciplines, including the cognitive science, studying how people interact with these kinds of devices in uh, various forms, um, the robotics materials and intelligence um, in the form of uh, natural language processing, uh, perception of faces, um, uh, the understanding of speech, um, and what I would say would be the theater of the presence. So how do we make it look? How do we make it act? Um, well, we naturally respond to the human-like face. It can be a cartoon or a realistic faces, but if you look at art history, we uh, represent the face in myriad forms, uh, sometimes hyper-realistic, sometimes uh, beyond realistic, such as this face. Uh, it's a static sculpture by Ron Muick. Um, but, um, there may be some problems of uh, realistic faces, and that would be implications of subterfuge. Often people may say these ro realistic robots are creepy. It's so real, it's creepy. Um, and so you see some success uh, with this kind of uh, creepy real robot in uh, Disney's um, uh, Hall of Presidents, and uh, in particular Abe Lincoln. Um, uh, you also see Android Science uh, uh, institutes uh, springing up around the world, but in particular, uh, the University of Osaka and the University of Tokyo have produced uh, androids that look very realistic. But the problem with those technologies, Disney and existing androids, was that they take too much uh, power to move because of the skin material. So when I started researching androids, I focused on finding an alternate uh, material, alternative material, and developed a, a process for geometrically structuring the pores in a sponge rubber material for enhanced elongation and mechanical action. So this particular sponge doesn't tear. Uh, it elongates very nicely and requires ultimately uh, less than 1 20th the force to move into facial expressions. So here's an example of some facial expressions generated with uh, rubber material. The nice thing about it, because it's a, a, a sponge-like material, it compresses very easily, which allows it to wrinkle and crease, um, uh, to, to generate the creases around the eyes when it smiles, um, to the creases in the forehead. And um, you can see some footage of a young face upstairs as well that I called Jules, um, which is a robot that, uh, that also, uh, um, it's, it, it smiles, it creases where it's supposed to without, um, uh, uh, without destroying the skin. Previous skin materials would be destroyed if you were uh, causing them to crease um, because you were over compressing the, the uh, rubber material. Um, the, the good thing about reducing the power and increasing the energy efficiency is you can run it for hours on batteries and it winds up being very lightweight and low power for a full range of facial expressions. In fact, this particular head consumes 10 watts at 6 volts, so it can run on AA batteries for hours, literally. That allows you to mount it on to a walking body, so, um, so you can complete an Android. You have a complete Android. There are many walking bodies around the world available. Um, this one is the Hubo from uh, the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. They commissioned this particular Einstein head about a year ago. So um, uh, the significance here is, I mean, this is kind of a Kitty Hawk kind of flight of an android. So it's, you know, it, 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 it walks, it works, but it's not manufacturable. It's very, still very, very expensive. Um, so over the last year, 
we've been focused on increasing the manufacturability so we can produce um, other forms of character robots. Now these are, these are some of the old robots. You can see again young faces that, um, that have the creases in the correct place. So you don't have to sculpt the creases in. Disney, if, they're, if they want uh, creases in the skin, they have to sculpt those in place. So let me shuffle through very quickly. And it, uh, the technology requires mechanics, um, uh, a blend of mechanics, materials, and artistry. Um, and artificial intelligence. This is the Philip K. Dick robot. It's speech. It's got uh, vision. It's got cameras embedded in the eyes, so you can run face uh, tracking algorithms that allow eye contact and face recognition. Um, it, so um, the demand for uh, animated characters um, uh, implies that if you can make this technology design flexible, then uh, it will be welcomed into people's lives. So we've begun to develop these character toys, character robotic toys. They're not perfectly realistic, but um, they realize this dream of a low-cost walking humanoid robot. We've teamed up with Ta Tomotaka Takahashi of um, Robo Garage in Japan. He builds these small Croino walking robots that you may have seen. And we're going to introduce um, this year, our intention is to introduce a line of what we call RoboKind uh, for about the same price as the Sony Ibo, about $2,500 for a walking, agile character that can recognize faces, wirelessly controlled by a PC, but if the connection is lost, it's still conversationally capable, um, representing a character. Um, so uh, we think that there's going to be a huge market in this, and we've begun to expand our, our business um, uh, with uh, the thanks to the Emerging Technologies Fund Award that we recently won from the state of Texas. Uh, we're able to build the RoboKind and uh, get it into the marketplace. So um, thank you so much. Hopefully I didn't take too much time. Okay.